Hey guys, uh, this is Mike Forster. Welcome to Cliff Pickleball. So today, we're gonna be talking about one of the most important shots in pickleball. If you don't have this shot, you will not progress. You won't get better. You won't be able to move on to the higher levels at the park. So what I see most people trying to do is be really perfect with this shot. They're trying to make it so perfect every time. But in reality, you don't have to. If you can just do the right things fundamentally, you'll move on up. And today, we're gonna be talking about the third shot drop. So when I'm teaching this shot, there's three main components that I work with when I'm teaching somebody, okay? So the first thing that we wanna make sure is that when we're hitting the third shot drop, we're positioning our body in the perfect position. So we're hitting that ball at the same spot every time. Okay, so ultimately we're gonna want that ball to bounce, come up to the apex, but then we're also gonna want it to descend a little bit before we strike the ball. That way it's in the perfect position every time. So, like I said in the beginning, what we want to do is we want to wait for that ball to bounce, come up to the apex, and start to descend before we hit it. So ultimately what we're doing is we're gonna wait for this ball to come up here, and then come right about knee height is when we're gonna wanna strike it, okay? And when we're at the baseline, we have leeway to be able to turn our body to get this ball in front of us, okay? And when we do that, that's gonna contribute to a really good third shot drop. <laughs> Do you see how I wait for that ball to come down by moving my body backwards and then I still have a forward momentum when I actually strike the ball? So as you can see, when I'm hitting the ball, my ball is not clearing the net by inches, it's clearing the net by a wide margin. The last thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is hit, try to hit perfect shots right into the net. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of margin of error and still try to land it shallow with that arc. Number two, I wanna talk about the swing path. So there's multiple different swing paths you can have with the paddle. You can go down, you can go forward, you can go up. So we wanna make sure that when we're hitting the third shot drop, we're having an upward swing path to get that ball up over the net. And ultimately we want that ball to come shallow. So we're gonna to need to slow down our hand speed and lift up with a swing path. So the swing path is basically the path which my paddle is taking to create the arc that I want. If I drop my paddle and I go forward, we can tell that that swing path is very forward, the ball's gonna go into the net. So what we're trying to do is create a little bit of an arc. So we've got to have a down paddle going up swing path. So low to high, which is gonna create that arc to get that ball over the net with a wide margin, okay? And then number three, we're gonna talk about how open or closed your paddle is. The more open you have, the more, typically the more loft you're gonna get on that ball, but it's gonna to tend to go higher. So you're gonna to have to slow down when you open that paddle. If you close the paddle, you're gonna have more top spin, but you're gonna be able to come up on the ball a little bit quicker. And now the other part of this is how open or closed your paddle is. If we have an open paddle face, we're gonna absolutely be able to get that arc, but we're gonna have to slow down our swing path because otherwise the ball is gonna end up going too high. If we close that paddle face and we brush up the back of the ball, it's gonna have more top spin, but it's still gonna grab the ball and we're still gonna get that arc, but we, we're able to go a little bit quicker when we're closing the paddle face. So really that's preference, but an open paddle face versus closed. This, a closed will be more aggressive, open is gonna be a softer, uh, softer ball that's gonna land a little bit more shallow typically. So these are the three most important things when dealing with the third shot drop. So in reality, just stop trying to be perfect with that drop. Just position your body, have a low to high swing path and get that ball over the net. You'll be okay, you'll move on up, make it soft, we're good to go. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. We'll see you next time, guys.